See what's new on the Burlington waterfront. Hey, now it's happening at the waterfront on Lake Champlain. Whatever the weather, there's so much to do on the new waterfront, the Burlington waterfront. Good evening. My name is Mariah Riggs, and I'm the director of the Main Street Landing Performing Arts Center. Welcome to On the Waterfront with me. Uh, today I'm really excited to have Mark Bull, who is a serial entrepreneur and founder of Super Collider. Welcome, Mark. Oh, well, thank you, Mariah. So uh, before we kind of get into all the wonderful work you're doing here in Burlington, yeah. I want to find out a little bit more about the man behind Super Collider. Dun, dun, dun. Watch out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, did you, are you originally from Burlington? No, I am not. I, I grew up in New Hampshire. Uh, then I went down to Texas to uh, get a degree, an undergraduate degree. Moved to New York for two years. Moved to Paris for 12 years. Got married, had two kids, moved to San Diego, and then moved to Vermont. So oh. my wife got a job up here at UVM teaching economics. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And uh, once you got here, you never wanted to leave. It's a real thing. It happens to all of us. Let's just say that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so we're so glad to have you. Oh, well, I'm glad to be here. Um, so, uh, just really quickly, um, what is Super Collider? So, Super Collider just started off, well, first of all, do you know what a real Super Collider is? A real life Super Collider? Yes. You do? Okay. So, just for anybody who doesn't, it's like a 10 mile um, circumference type thingy that accelerates photons up to close to the speed of light, smashes them together, and releases energy. And so, that's a metaphor that I liked, a name that I liked. Um, and uh, we use that for Super Collider, which just started off as a meetup. We'd get together, mm -hmm. have, uh, have a drink, talk about mostly like entrepreneurship because a lot of my friends are entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, you know, that became a good name that we kind of coalesced around. Uh, in parallel, shout out to Michael um, Jagger uh, at Solidarity because he was working on a concept called Super Collider and we talked about merging them and stuff like that, but I just wanted to have a drink on Friday nights. <laughs> so that became the Super Collider have a drink on Friday night thing. Um, and But then about a year, let, let's see, last year we launched uh, the first year of Synaptic Super Collider, which is a conference, um, and that has turned into like a weekend long uh, adventure with all kinds of you know interesting events, but mm -hmm. the core of it is a conference, and this year a party at City Hall. Um, which is going to be a lot of fun. So, um, in the interest of uh, giving you all a great summary on the event, um, I'd like you all right now to watch last year's video of the event. So, Synaptic Super Collider, this year round, 2021, it was a three day event. On Friday night, we had three social events. The conference uh, went from eight in the morning to seven at night. We had amazing speakers the entire day. And then we're finishing up tomorrow on Sunday with a hike. The speakers uh, were absolutely fantastic. So we started off with Alan Newman. Uh, he's a person who's a serial entrepreneur who started amazing companies like Seventh Generation, Magic Hat Breweries. We were lucky at the last minute to have Kyle Clark from Beta Technologies come down and be a speaker. Um, every time he speaks, it's just amazing. But on the flip side, uh, we had art artists like Myra Flynn come in. She's a singer, songwriter. I'd asked her if we could uh, lead the audience in composing a song. But she would have somebody tell a story for two minutes, just talk about their own life or difficulties they were having. And then she would extract words from that that sounded poetic. And then she would give us a, a, a chord progression. And then we ended up all singing it together at the end. Synaptic Super Collider was awesome. Uh, first of all, I had no idea that so much innovation and amazing creativity was going on in Vermont. So it was very eye-opening for me to hear from um, songwriters, people running rocket companies, people running aviation companies. Uh, honestly, 
As somebody who lives in New York, I'm contemplating moving back to Vermont. Like my one takeaway from today would be there's a lot more cool stuff happening in Burlington. It's just different than any other conference I've been to. Um, you know, it just the, the the pacing of things was was great. Um, the the variety of what your uh, the tracks and a ton of opportunity to meet people. I feel like I've met just about everybody who was here. I thought it was a phenomenal event. The, the balance of speakers, the subjects, the energy they brought. It was uh, an incredible experience uh, because it really showcases Vermont today uh, in terms of music, art, AI, uh, rockets, uh, aerospace, engineering. It was uh, a lot of uh, unexpected twists and turns and really showcased uh, some great entrepreneurs and the work that they're doing right here in Vermont. If you have the opportunity to attend next year's event, there shouldn't even be a question. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that. It was a, it's a great video. It is, it is. It's very enjoyable. Shout out to Philip Quesado who put that together, and I will mention Jeremy Lesniak, who just has a wonderful clip at the end. Great sales guy. <laughs> so, I mean, the other thing about Super Colliders that um, kind of comes to me, too, is that it, 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 it uses the, you know, 10, 20-mile loop to propel these very small uh, atoms together, and it creates energy. Right. And so that too, I think, is very intrinsic of what you guys are trying to do. It's a, it's it's trying to get people together to create heat and yes. energy around ideas. Right. Exactly. And we we really, you know, I I love events of all types, but I invariably end up in a lot of events with other people working in high tech, and you know. Um, and so, uh, and I love those events, but you know, it's a little monolithic, like people have the same kind of backgrounds, educational and other things like that. And so I wanted to start something that would really mix things up and bring together like people, unexpected people that you wouldn't expect uh, to run into and create collisions of people that don't usually meet. So we have all kinds of people at our events. We love to have musicians at our events. We don't have enough. Mm -hmm. Anybody who's a musician wants to come out on Friday nights, please join us. Um, we've got Philip that I mentioned, he's into theater. We're getting more people that are in theater involved. Um, but like, for instance, at our last monthly meetup, which we had at Arts Riot, uh, we had a bunch of people from Congo. Um, now there's a big community, it's about 500 people that are immigrants from Congo in Burlington. I met them through different people, and I didn't know there was such a big Congolese uh, immigrant mm -hmm. population here in Burlington. But they're all doing amazing stuff. They're highly educated, doing great jobs, very entrepreneurial. And all of a sudden, we had a contingency of about 10 of them come out to our event. Um, and you know, and it, it's just really interesting. But I'll give another example. We have a sponsor for the Super Collider Party that's Rectified Bourbon. And they wanted to invite people to the party. And we've got free tickets for these people. But they wanted to invite people that work in the hospitality industry. Mm -hmm. So bartenders, uh, uh, waiters, waitresses, cooks, uh, people who work in uh, hotels. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got 25 tickets ready to go for the party uh, sponsored by Rectified Bourbon. Now people, cooks, and uh, you know that's people I don't usually run into like mm -hmm. at social events because yep. I run into people like me mm -hmm. and I'm not a cook. But like we want to bring them in. You know we want to bring them in and and you know so across different kinds of jobs and things like that, uh, you know, the more the merrier. And that, that generally um, is a consensus that people believe that, and it's true, when you get people from different disciplines together in a room that might not have shared experience, ideas, knowledge, it creates its own energy. And it's a really unique thing that can be very beneficial to the community and to uh, creating new and unique ideas in general. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, you know, I'll give an example of uh, one of our best monthly events. Uh, we had in a woman whose name is Lucy Drummond. Uh, she has a business or had a business called Lucify, Lucify Cakes not Lucifer, Lucify Cakes. And uh, she made elaborate cakes for weddings and special events. And so we had a Friday night at VSET. Um, we had 30 or 40 people together. She brought in these little kits of cakes, uh, sponge cake, and we learned how to make like elaborate cakes, like the techniques they use to make cakes. Yeah. We also drank a lot of wine and beer, um, but it was one of the funnest events we've ever had. So we like to have like fun stuff that we do together. 
So that's another question is, is, is Super Collider doing other events? Yeah, so we, um, so we, we have the monthly meetup, we have the conference, the annual conference, and that's spread over three days. Um, and in the fall, we'll be rolling out a few things. Uh, one is Philip Quesado is going to do, I know I've mentioned his name now three times. You must be intrigued. Who is this character, Philip Quesado? Well, Philip is going to do a class uh, on video editing for entrepreneurs. That should be a lot of fun. And I uh, will announce another class that we'll be rolling out by Joey in the Simba MBA program mm -hmm. on, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, improv. Improv. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's great. That'll right. be really fun. In yeah. improv, actually, this is an interesting point, is that sometimes people don't understand that there's a great uh, synthesis between, you know, things like improv and working in business. Right. Um, you know, sometimes meeting with investors, being able to publicly speak, uh, being able to gauge in team meetings more effectively, yeah. all those things, doing workshops and things like improv and some of the more theatrical arts lends itself to being a better business leader. Absolutely. And in fact, so Joey, I just met him today and he's part of the um, sustainable MBA program at UVM. And he has, I guess, a, a pretty elaborate theater background, but he did improv and is using it or thinking about it, um, you know, for, for business, yeah. for business folks. So, you know, just like you said. It's, it, it's a real thing. Yeah. And, um, you know, sometimes, you know, you get stuck in spreadsheets. Right. Right. And you, you're not really out there with people, you know, and, and, and trust me, actually, as much as you probably are surprised by this, I am a natural introvert. Um, <laughs> I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Um, but, you know, getting out of the box, being able to express yourself, uh, you know, through through how you conduct yourself or carry yourself around other people yep. um, is a big part of being successful in today's world. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So it, we improv gets you out of that box. Right. And speaking <laughs> of getting out of the box, we um, you know, like, um, you know, one of the reasons I we sort of hatched this whole thing as part of uh, as we were being locked down under COVID, right? And during that process, I signed up for South by Southwest, which subsequently got canceled by COVID. But as I was doing that, they have this little these little services for fifty dollars. You can pay to be pre-registered for up to six hundred social events at South by Southwest. So I was like, wow, six hundred social events. What are these? They're always like free taco, free beer, free music, free whatever. Uh, but it's like a huge. It's fun. Like the whole city lights up. Mm -hmm. And so that was, you know, one of the um, ideas for a Synaptic Super Collider was like. We want to make this first and foremost like really fun, like really yeah. fun social events. So Friday night we have an event at Water, um, Wallflower Collective. If you are a conference goer, you can get a free cocktail, the Super Collider, specially made for the event. Um, what at, wait, what yeah. is the, what is the Super Collider drink? Oh, it hasn't been invented yet. Oh wow, that's me, me and kind Matt. I'd just like to tell Matt over at Wallflower Collective that I'm going to be over there sometime this week, and we're going to make it. We're going to make it together. Because last time I let him make it and design it, and it had some Campari in it or something. I don't like those bitter yeah. things. So this time I want to be more hands-on. Well, again, this is all part of the collaborative process. Yes, yes. <laughs> right, right. But yeah, like every piece we try and throw in something. So um, Friday night, Nectars, uh, like if you've got a conference pass, you, you get a free cover. But anybody can go. Anybody can go on Friday night. Anybody can go on, uh, you know, to the two events on Friday night. Saturday we have a conference, so that's paid. Mm -hmm. Then there's a film showing at Main Street Landing. Uh, that's free. You can go see a film made by a, a director, Andrew Lyman Clark, who's uh, born and raised in Vermont, lives in New York City, film director, awesome film. Um, what is the film? It's called Night Sweats. Okay. And Night Sweats. It's, and what is it about? Oh, well, very topical. Uh, it, is, uh, it is about um, a person who gets infected by a virus through, I believe, a relationship, if I remember right. Oh, wow. Um, but then it devolves into like a thriller where they realize that this virus is actually hatched on the local population by a pharmaceutical company <laughs> who's trying to sell the antidote to the virus. Oh, oh wow. It's, oh, it's a thriller. That is timely too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Um, well, that's, th that sounds like a great film. Yeah. Um, and then Friday and then Saturday night, big party at Contoy's Auditorium. Which is gonna be awesome. Um, it's going to be quite the party at Contois. If anybody shows up, it'll be awesome. Okay. No, we have uh, we have incredible 
lineup. So we have Mal Maiz, which is playing, which is like an eight-piece amazing uh, band with influences from all over South America. We have Bread and Puppet that's going to do a performance in the middle of all this. And then we have DJ Ja Red, who is going to finish up the night uh, with a lot of fun music. So that's 8 to 12 on Saturday night. Wow. But here we are, T minus 10 days from the actual event. And we've only sold like a handful of tickets. OK, Burlington. You have to get out there and buy some tickets. But <laughs> there's going to be a lot of people there because we've got the secret sauce. We've got Philip Quesado. That's the fourth time I've mentioned him. But uh, we're going to be out on Church Street regularly with all kinds of discount codes. And, and I said we have 25 free tickets to, get away to anybody, give away to anybody who's working in the hospitality industry. We have another sponsor, Magic Man, who's considering sponsoring um, a bunch of musicians to go. Um, so it's going to be packed. That's, that's really exciting. Oh, it's going to be huge fun. Now, so, I mean, this is, this is a very exciting event. And this is something pretty unique, I think, and special um, in the mix of what we do here in Burlington yearly. And so I, I, I kind of also want to get a sense from you, you know, what, what are you trying to create with this event? Wow. So that's a moving target. <laughs> so what I started wanting to create was like a place where I could go have beer with my friends and I wouldn't get kicked out. That worked out pretty good. Then it turned into like a, a yearly conference, but it started off last year pretty small. Now we're rolling out these educational opportunities. Mm -hmm. But at the core of Super Collider, we, it starts off with creative people getting together, unexpected collisions, and unlocking energy. Now that's really vague and for the first six months like the people I started with kept telling me like I want to invite people but I don't know what to tell them and I'd tell them that and they'd be like that's not a thing like I can't that's not that that doesn't make sense to anybody except you and I was like well that's what it is it's just that's it we like get people together creative people and create these unexpected collisions and it unlocks energy and then um, you know I met a guy here locally recently um, and he was really adamant that he liked the fact that it was unexpected like you don't have an expectation going into it. And so, you know, then we started rolling that out in our, in our, <laughs> our invitations. You know, don't come with expectations, you know, mm -hmm. come without expectations, leave with inspiration. So it's purposefully left open-ended. Wait, I love that. Okay. Come without expectations and leave with inspiration. Yes. That, that's a lovely tagline. Yep. It rolled right off yep, my tongue. That's wonderful. Late one night. For no apparent one. reason. <laughs> and, and actually, we but, all need a little bit more of that in our lives. Yes. Um, and I think the Burlington community in general yeah. would benefit greatly from an event that creates that space. But I'll give another shout out to Thor Retzlaff, who, uh, who has an incredible startup uh, here locally and uh, who, who was adamant about he really liked the fact that there was an expectation. Like he didn't know what it was going to be about. And at first I was like, really? You really like that? And then I, the more I thought about it, I was like, yeah, if you don't have expectations, you're not easily disappointed and second of all you've got to go into it and make something of it you know you're an actor in what happens it gets back to the super collider concept that people are making their own heat yeah you know it's self-driven right you know so people go in they don't know what to expect but they create their own heat and whatever happens from that is maybe unexpected right and we need y'all bringing the heat I, I dropped the y'all. I dropped the y'all. Yeah, yeah. Burlington, Burlington needs to bring the heat. Very, very, very important. Um, so, so to put it in perspective, it sounds like Super Collider is is a three day event. Yep. Okay. And it has it has a festival component that ties ties the three different components together that that overarches all of it, right? And right. we have this festival. There's a conference. Um, and then there's a party and a several series of social engagement events. Right, and it all finishes up with a hike on Sunday. Really? Yes, a hike Sunday morning, 10 a.m. Probably Mount Philo because we're worried somebody's going to have a heart attack and <laughs> and uh, and we can't cover it with the insurance. But so normally in Mount Philo, if we have enough people, we might have a splinter group that does camel hump. Well, that's the real hike. Yeah, right. <laughs> but that's, you know, I, I talked about South yeah. by Southwest. We're kind of taking a page out of what they're doing, but this is not no Me Too South by Southwest. Uh, this is Burlington, Vermont. We're mm -hmm. making this, you know, new yeah. and fresh, unique. Uh, what other conference do you go to in the world where you go on a hike the last day? I don't think there is one. Well, that's where you really get and break down barriers. Right. There's nothing like hiking a mountain right. to break down barriers with people. Yeah, true. And uh, it's amazing what comes out while you're hiking. True. <laughs> Very true. Especially after the party, you know, on Saturday night. Yes, exactly. 
That's a, that's a great impetus right there. Right. So I also wanted to talk to you, uh, this came up briefly uh, before we started our interview. Um, you were telling me that uh, in, in your other life, you do some other work. Right. Um, and uh, one of the things I found was really interesting is you work with uh, several individuals um, uh, in Ukraine. Right, yeah, so my main bread and butter uh, comes from making apps to help people learn languages like French and Spanish and Italian. Uh, the, the, the name of that company is Vida Lingua, Vida Lingua. Uh, I've been doing it for a long time. We have over 15 million people that have downloaded our apps. So we have like 600,000 active users every month. Um, and we do that right here, designed by me here in Burlington. And I work with 20 people across the world. A lot of them are linguists, some of them are developers. Mm -hmm. But I actually work with five people actively right now who are in the Ukraine. Uh, so two are developers, one is a designer, uh, he makes graphic, a new graphic character. Mm -hmm. Two of them are linguists. Sure. Uh, and so every month, yeah, I work with five people in the Ukraine and... And they're doing okay? Yeah, it's, a, it's actually extremely surprising and uh, unexpected. Uh, you know, that's a whole different subject, but yeah. one thing about Ukrainians, like I all offer them, I literally said, and this is a real honest to truth offer, I said, look, why don't you take a vacation and just come over here to Burlington or Austin and I'll find you a place. You Take a vacation, right? If there's going to be war over there. None of them wanted to leave. And then I said, well, if things get rough, you know, then they mm -hmm. had, like men couldn't cross the border. But it's a huge country. So I was yeah. like, just give me a pin on the map and, you know, go through some forest and I'll be on the other side and <laughs> we'll just drive back to, you know, to Paris or Austin or whatever. And none of them want to leave. They're like, they're there. They want to fight. Got to love that. Yeah, well, maybe if maybe if they were <laughs> maybe if people were like this is ever going to happen, pouring in from Quebec, you'd probably want to save, you know, Vermont. You never know. Yeah, if it was people <laughs> from Quebec, I would definitely want to. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um, you no, know, so but I found that very interesting, and I and I'm glad to hear that they're that they're able to work and that you're able to engage them, um, and give them employment, and they want to stay. I mean, it's a real thing. Oh yeah, definitely. And so you know, I mean. Uh, the people I'm working with, they've moved out into the countryside. It's a huge country. It's huge. It's 44 million people. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a lot of countryside, and you just can't bomb everything. So, you know, so they just work day in and day out, and, you know, That's everything's true. fine. They still have Internet. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that, <laughs> thank goodness. But That's a shot. I mean, I, I, you know, that, that leads me into my own... Yeah. assumptions right. that they have. But I believe they actually have like Starlink, that company started yeah. by Elon Musk, uh, provides oh. internet from the, sky. from the sky. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. I didn't realize that. That's so cool. That's another great tie-in. Yeah. Um, so that was my aside. Okay. We're getting back to Super, super uh, Collider. <laughs> and I want to know, because this is a great conference that's coming up in a week, but I assume that there are other projects that you're doing with this. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, this, so just recently, I, I don't know, it's just like uh, all kinds of things started coming to our attention. And, and so um, I, I spent about, I, I actually live half the year in Austin, Texas now. And, um, and so I started a chapter of it down there. Um, it's pretty easy to start a chapter of Super Collider because all you have to do is give everybody a rendezvous in a bar at five o'clock on a Friday night, and bingo, you've got a chapter of Super Collider. But, um, so we've got a chapter of it down there. I'm actually going to Paris uh, on the 3rd of October, and I'm going to start a chapter in Paris, because I know a lot of people, because I lived there for 12 years. So I'm gonna invite a bunch of people out to a bar on a Friday night. We got a chapter in Paris. But we wanna start one in Montreal, Boston, and New York. Um, and yeah, so, There'll be monthly meetups. Mm -hmm. um, there'll be hubs. So hopefully, people from uh, Montreal and Boston and New York will continue to convene on Burlington for Synaptic Super mm -hmm. Collider. Uh, but we'd like to do regional yeah. conferences. Uh, we'd like to open up this education mm -hmm. uh, activity. But you know, fun uh, fun yeah. education, um, short courses that you know appeal to entrepreneurs and things like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we want, you know, we want Super Collider to be first and foremost a place you come, mm -hmm. have fun with interesting people. If we can achieve that, par for the course, we're happy. <laughs> um, if we yep. can help those same people find like fulfillment in their professional lives or, mm -hmm. or you know, professional being very wide and broad, like you might want to come to start a company and meet a partner to start a company. You might want to start a band. We hope you come think of Super Collider to meet other people to start a band. Um, that's something that'll be sort of core. 
Uh, yeah. But then we'll also offer ways to sharpen your skills, like point skills that you would use to start a company. Mm -hmm. um, and you can also, I mean, it sounds like too, it also has that um, built-in contextuality where you can have mentorships, you know, you can learn from others, engage, maybe some, you meet somebody who's had the same experience that you're going through as you try to start up a company and they can like help you right. because there's hurdles that you don't know how to cross. Yeah. And those kinds of community engagement things kind of just lifts up the whole. It does. And we want like, um, like people who are unemployed or underemployed, we want them to think of, oh, I'm going to plug myself into Super Collider because that's where I'm going to regenerate, find partners, find jobs. So anybody who's underemployed or unemployed can get a discount code to go to Super Collider for almost free. Just contact me by email. But that's a real thing. I actually uh, was unemployed for our strange reason. I worked at Microsoft and Oracle. I worked at Oracle for four years in the 90s, Microsoft for three years in the 90s. Made so much money off of stock options that I found myself like too much money. Uh, took a year off mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, after about six months I was bored out of my tree. I, I turned into Mr. Mom. I spent a lot of time <laughs> taking care of my kids which was okay. My wife was getting a PhD at the time um, but like I felt like I dropped off the, the, the face of the world mm -hmm. because I didn't have like a job. That's A job has kind of become the hub of modern day life. Mm -hmm. It's like the people you interact with. But if you ever leave that job for reasons, hopefully good reasons like me or bad reasons like you get fired, you literally lose like your your hub. Mm -hmm. um, so, so yeah, we want super And it's collider. hard to create energy. It if is. There is no hub. I mean, that's yeah. sort of what that is. So this creates sort of that communal hub. Yeah. Which is really wonderful. So everybody, you have to come to the conference. Yes. It's going to be awesome. It's a really wonderful thing. Um, you know, Mark, thank you for trying to launch something new and exciting in Burlington. Um, you know, something that's not just the business community, but is the arts community, you know, is the academic community, you know, is, is the hospitality community. Is the unemployed community. Is the unemployed community. <laughs> I mean, it's just all of that together is, is better as a whole. Absolutely. And, and, and that's another thing is everybody has specifications that they can utilize to leverage intellectual property to become better. Yeah. Which is part of the whole push. Right. Super exciting. Don't let me forget that last thing that I was supposed to. Yeah, I know. To, oh, no. I've, I've got All that. Right. All right. So um, I also want to quickly uh, let everybody know um, Mark has been super wonderful um, and is going to be doing a five tickets for the conference. Um, for anybody who's watching this, uh, if you go to Sympt Sym uh, Symptomatic uh, Super Collider, it's at the bottom of the screen. See www.com. You've Synaptic got it. Synaptic Super Collider. Yeah, it's, a, it's a real thing. Thank you. Um, if you go there and you enter the code when you check out MSLNOW, um, you will get a 50% off ticket to the conference. Right, that's Main Street Landing now, MSLNOW. And we'll okay. even throw in this pair of glasses. This, didn't know this was going to turn into QVC. <laughs> no, no, we're, we're not allowed to go there. Uh, I, I think there's licensing rights. So we have a myriad of discount codes for all types of people. Mm -hmm. Like I said, students, educators, unemployed, underemployed. Uh, we even do mm -hmm. trade out. You got a great skill, you want to help us promote the thing, we might even do trade out with you. We want everybody that wants to go to be able to go people who can afford to help us offset the cost of catering, the spaces, uh, the band, the DJ, all those things cost you know a lot of money. Um, so people that can afford it and can help us do that, we mm -hmm. appreciate it. Sponsors, I'd like to give a shout out. Our lead sponsor this year is Benchmark Space Systems. Um, they are sponsoring 16 students to attend the event. Which is super exciting. Yeah. And so thank you, thank you so much for bringing this to town. Uh, well, thank you. And um, I hope it's a big success. I want everyone to keep an eye out for it. Um, I want people to go to the party at Contoy's uh, next Saturday. Uh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a great weekend. Um, so get out there. Make sure you go to Super Collider. It's going to be an amazing conference in Burlington. <laughs> uh, go to the website. Check it out. Thank you guys all so much. Um, and I will see you next month. Thank you, Mark. Well, thank you, Mariah. All right. Take care.